The first time we're releasing a 405 billion parameter model, by far the most sophisticated open source model that, that I think anyone has, has put out. Mark Zuckerberg at Meta just released Llama 3.1 and it is taking the industry by storm. Let's dive right into it. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Meta just released Llama 3.5, 3.1, and it is their most capable model to date, and it's on par with some of the top closed source models like OpenAI's GPT 4.0, as well as Claude Sonnet 3.5. And we can see here some key takeaways. Um, Meta is committed to openly, openly accessible AI. Uh, you can read Mark Zuckerberg's letter detailing why open source is good for developers, good for meta, and good for the world. I watched that interview of Zuck. Kind of, I mean, I've watched many interviews, but his most recent one about the meta uh, llama release. He says a lot of stuff that he said in many other videos regarding open source and whatnot, but definitely a great video. I would definitely recommend checking that full length 31 minute, 35 minute video out. Um, bringing open source intelligence to all our open our, our latest models expand context length to uh 128k add support across eight languages and include llama 3.1 405 billion the first frontier level open source ai model so this is huge all right because up until this point open source has always been lagging behind and you know not a huge amount but still a substantial amount and now we're where we have it where this is the first frontier model um that is getting closer on par with these other top frontier models and this is 100 percent open source you can literally get the code on you know whether it's hugging face github etc um you can get the code you could if you have a strong enough system you could host uh it locally um depending on you know what size this is obviously a huge model 405 billion parameters but they have smaller ones as well and this is yeah this is really game changing in the ai industry because as we're gonna start seeing in the next few months and what we're already seeing now is these open source models are going to basically i mean what we're seeing right now they're they're on par or if not better than a lot of the other frontier models so it's only going to get go up and up from here so imagine in six to 12 months where open source is going to be um we're continuing to build on out uh llama uh out llama to be a system by providing more components that work with the model building a re uh, reference system we want to empower developers with the tools to create their own custom agents and new types of agentic behavior we're bolstering this with new security and safety tools including llama guard 3 and prompt uh prompt guard to help build responsibly we're also re releasing a request to comment on llama slack a uh, stack api uh, uh a standard interface we hope to make it easier for third-party projects to leverage llama models all right so obviously you know with zuck uh releasing this they're going you know yes he's essentially taking these millions billions of dollars they're putting into ai and 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 building these models and you're essentially giving it to the public making the source code available but at the same time obviously there's there's many different benefits for for meta um but one obviously being people are going to build on top of the open source project and that's obviously good for them um you know if if their models are being used for other people's stuff the ecosystem is primed and ready to go with over 25 partners, including AWS, NVIDIA, Databricks, Grok, Dell, Azure, uh, Google Cloud, and Snowflakes offering services one, uh, day, on day one. All right, so uh, we'll get into a little bit of using the model in just a second, and I'll do more videos, you know, going more in-depth on testing Llama 3.1. But um, it's going to be really interesting once Gro like it's available with Grok, because if you don't know about Grok, it's very essentially it's just uh, very, very fast um, inference time. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out Grok regardless, because um, it's a, definitely a very useful tool. And, um, you know, they use different types of uh, LPUs instead of GPUs. Uh, try Llama 3.1 
405B in the US on WhatsApp and at meta.ai by asking a challenging math or coding question. So today, open source large language models have mostly trailed behind their closed counterparts when it comes to capability and performance. Now we're ushering in a new era of open source leading the way. We're publicly releasing Meta Llama 3.1 405B, which we believe to be the world's most capable and openly available foundational model with, over th uh, with more than 300 million total downloads of all Llama versions to date. We're just getting started. All right, so... I'm not going to go through and read this whole thing. I'll have this linked in the description, but as you can see here, um, as part of this release day, we're introducing upgraded versions. So they're also upgrading the versions of 8B and 70B models. These are multilingual and have significantly longer context lengths of 128K, state-of-the-art tool use, and overall stronger reasoning capabilities. This enables our latest models to support advanced use cases such as long-term text summarization, multilingual conversational agents, and coding assistance. We're also, we also made changes to our license, allowing developers to use the outputs from Llama models, including the 405B, to improve other models. True to our uh, commitment to open source, starting today, we're introducing these models available to the, the downloaded. True to our commitment to open source, starting today, we're making these models available to the community for download on llama.meta.com at hugging face and available for immediate development on our broad ecosystem of partner platforms so some of the model evals here we can take a look for release we evaluated performance on the uh, over on over 150 benchmark data sets that span a wide range of languages in addition we performed extensive human evals they compare Llama 3.1 with competing models in real world activity or scenarios. Our experimental uh, evaluation suggests that our flagship models is competitive with leading foundation models across a range of tasks, including GPT-4, GPT-4, GPT-4.0, and Claude Sonnet 3.5. Additionally, our smaller models are competitive with closed and open models that have a similar number of parameters. So we can take a look and see here. Um, these benchmarks, so 3.1, 405B, um, and we can see some of the comparisons here against Omni and Sonnet. So on the general, we're, I mean, like, not to go through all these evals, but if you really just look here, um, it's pretty hand, uh, head to head with Omni and Sonnet on, like, E I I F eval it is ahead, and then five shot C O T it is a little bit. It's basically on par with G P T four O Omni and just below Sonnet. Um, but yeah, you can see here the ones where it's leading. It will be uh, uh, kind of shaded, so you can see math. It really shines right here, ninety six point eight, and. Claude Sonnet 96.4, uh, ARC Challenge, so 96.9, um, Nexus, so you can see here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's uh, 15 right here, and out of 15, according to their tests, it got 7 out of them um, basically top performing out of all these models for this one. And then you can see more tests here. Uh, what is this? This is their 8B model. Um, so now they're comparing it to uh, Gemma 2, Mistral 7B Instruct, Llama 3.170B, and okay. And then so there's their 8B model here and their 70B model here. Going against, going against Mistral and GPT 3.5 Turbo. Um, so you can see the evals, according to them, are putting their new Llama models ahead in a lot of these evals. So, um, and then Llama 3.1 uh, 405 Human Eval, uh, Win, Tie, Loss. So you can see the Win and Tie and Loss rates. And then Model Architecture. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to go through the entire, um, 
article here, but I'll leave it linked below. Um, the main thing I wanted to cover was kind of just, you know, um, the evals and the, this, this huge release. This is going to be game changing for uh, the AI industry um, and just really with open source on the rise, um, you know, with these open source models. It's like I, if you watch the interview with Zuck, he basically is just saying a lot of companies or a lot of people are want to going to want to fine tune their own models and build their own models and just having being at the whim of like a bigger company maybe like cloud sonnet or uh like anthropic or open ai um and not being able to kind of build what your own uh type of uh model and agents um is obviously what people are going to want so and w yeah this is going to be uh, interesting to see how open source continues to evolve. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below regarding all this, regarding Llama uh, 3.1. Um, if you use, and also too, guys, you can go to their, I'll leave a link to the Meta AI right here, and you can basically start talking to, um, you know, their Llama 3.1 model. Okay. Please create a blog post. Regarding open source AI advancements. So I'll be doing more videos and tests on this new uh, meta AI, but um, yeah, you can go test it out yourself as well. And um, yeah, it'll be definitely be interesting to see and start incorporating it with some um, different tools, trying it with coding and, uh, more stuff to come. So other than that, guys, I hope you got some value from this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Also too, if you haven't already joined our free stride community, uh, stridecommunity.com link for that will be in the description down below. We have uh, like-minded entrepreneurs, AI enthusiasts, developers, coders, um, business owners, marketers, salespeople, etc., all in there. So you can network with like-minded individuals as well as myself. And then also too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, link for that will be in the description down below too, guys. Other than that, uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, accelerate your stride. Take care.